happen but there's more than this there's things which are amazing beyond the imagination there's something beautiful about him the Messiah what? when you believe in him your life change you see you believe in Muhammad you will notice many they go let's say they go to jail for a month they meet with some Muslims they share Shahada convert to Islam and second day he come out you want to do jihad so Islam changed you to be a violence person a person who goes for violence and Jesus he do the opposite Isn't it chapter nine? sorry it is, it is stated in chapter 9 which I believe is one of the most violent um, no no the whole Quran is violent the whole Quran but chapter, well, chapter five, is, uh, actually the Quran is the Quran does not contain much violence as Muhammad life stories Muhammad he cut a woman to pieces when she's alive her name is Umar Kurfa, more than eight years old he tied her legs to two camels and he ordered the camels to split her alive I don't know if you saw the videos of Isis tying a guy to two tanks and they split him alive this is not something they come with this is Muhammad what he did Muhammad is a very evil man so it's not just about violence you see my friend sometimes violence can be for a reason so if somebody kill me and I'm defending myself okay that's you know you, you, I mean this guy is not being bad he's defending himself but Muhammad is an evil man he enjoyed torture he put nails in the eyes of people he got there you know like you, you know you mentioned to me the, the fingertips right you remember yeah. okay do you know that the Quran says that you kill people and you cut their fingertips for their fingertips for fun why no. you want to get why you want to cut the fingertips of somebody why you kill the man the man is already the, the man, read with me chapter chapter 8 verse number 12 remember the Lord inspired the angels with the message I am with you give uh, uh, firmness to the believers I will install terror in the heart of the believers submit above their necks and submit their fingertips of them why what is the purpose of fingertips okay you want to kill them they're enemy no problem you give me all the excuses and what after you kill them you want to you want to cut their fingertips yeah, no, it makes no sense. But. So, obviously, it's a false cult based on violence, and the violence is the only reason for Islam to stay until now. If you give a freedom for people in Pakistan to believe or not to believe, you will see people leave Islam. You know, the, I don't know if you heard of something called the War of Hope State. You heard of it? No. Okay, Muhammad died. Everybody almost left Islam. What what the Muslims, the gang, they did, the fighter, the warriors, they launched war. It's called the War of Hope State. You can search it in Google. The War of Hope State against everyone who left Islam just because they heard Muhammad is dead. As simple as that. So how come Islam is um, spreading so fast? No, Islam is dying so fast, my friend. This is a, this is a propaganda. It's false. Islam is dying very fast. As you see, we are the Arab. We are leaving Islam, and we are we are making fun of Islam. And you will see people all over the world leaving Islam. If you, if, you, if I tell you how many people leave Islam after speaking to me, you will not believe it. So Islam is dying. They have a propaganda that Islam is spreading. That's not true. And they measure themselves by birth rate. But this is not a true uh, measurement because who said that everyone is born in a Muslim country is a Muslim? Give them freedom and let us see who is a Muslim. I actually know what case. Um, I know though I'm from Saudi Arabia who basically she does everything the farm said too, but she's an atheist. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever heard of a country have no gays, have no atheist, have no Christian, have no Jews? I mean, come on. <laughs> Obviously, it's the violence, right? Keeping things in the in order. So the whole country, when Ahmed Najad he you know he came to the United Nations, he said, In my country there's no gays. Yeah, because you kill them if somebody says he is. Give them freedom, you will see how many gays they will have. That's actually true to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, a country have no atheist? That's funny. <laughs> That's a miracle, actually. <laughs> But why? Because who dare to say I'm an atheist? They will kill him right away. With fear, my friend, everybody worship the same God because nobody dare to say I don't believe in that God. Take the fear out. Take the terror of Islam, as you see in front of you on the screen. Terror is what making Islam stand for until now. But I believe strongly that the same reason made Islam stand is the same reason will make Islam collapse. And now Muslims are leaving Islam left and right because there's many Muslims, naive Muslims. They thought Islam is a nice religion and they were shocked when they saw ISIS. But ISIS are practicing Islam exactly. ISIS is Islam and Islam is ISIS. I challenge anyone to show me one thing ISIS did, Muhammad did not do. Not a single thing. They are the real Muslims. Yeah, wow. Well. well, my friend, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy that you spoke to me. Okay, I, hope, okay. I hope next time you will call me with a better microphone because I have to apologize from you. you okay, can, I get, what, can I also get some of my friends to call you? Sorry, sorry. Um, can I also get some of my friends to call you? Sure, sure, absolutely. Anytime, my friend. Anytime I am on, on uh, just text me first because I get too many messages hey. and I, I pick up people to call me. I don't know them, but because too many people they text me, as you see, I am open for everybody. And sometimes people they call, they are just being stupid. You know, they call, they make a voice of a goat or etc. So text me. Uh, you'll be amazed how many people um, are in my situation. I I meet everyday people in your situation. Trust me, it's not okay. So, and I'm really happy for you. Actually, don't don't think you you, you lost today. You you are being smart. You are a smart person. I didn't win. I didn't call to win anything. Or to lose this no, no, I, I know, I know. But I mean, some people they think, okay, Christian Prince, he won the debate. No, 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 I did not win. You are the winner.
because I spend my time actually doing nothing. I just repeated what I know. I mean, my knowledge with you. It is you who gain knowledge, right? It is you who heard things never heard before. So you are the only winner in this conversation. I'm already challenging people when you said I have to close the references. Absolutely. Let people call me my friend to bring the best you have who can defend Islam. And tell them I want to hear you defending Islam, speaking to this guy, and you will laugh with me and you will see they cannot. All right, cool. Thanks for your help. Thank you, my friend, for calling me. May the Lord bless you. And I pray before you go, I pray that the Lord will open your eyes and he will send you a private invitation to your heart to accept him, that he is your Lord and your Savior. And really, really, from my heart, I pray to the Lord that he might guide you, bless you, and keep you and guide you from everything is evil you accept him or not I still I pray for him to be with you and to protect you even if you don't accept him yet for God is love and he love those who love the truth and the good ones thank you my friends for calling me thanks a lot thanks a lot yeah take care God bless all right well I'm very thankful for my Lord that today I I did uh, open the live podcast that late here we go you know we we help a person uh, to know the truth and the truth will set you free